Did you know that you can hook the data and power connectors to a SATA hard drive in backwards? I wouldn't recommend it. I've seen it happen and it's not pretty. So let's make sure you do this right. All right, let's look at some hooking up of hard drive basics. So here I have a two and a half inch Samsung solid state hard drive. If I look on the back, it's a Samsung 850 EVO, 500 gigs, nice hard drive. I like Samsung hard drives. That's probably the only Samsung product I like. It's a little bit of trivia, but let's look at this edge connector right here. So I've got a power connector and I've got a data connector. And if you look at the plastic of the connector, there's a little L shape right there. And if you look at the plastic of the data connector, there's a little L shape. It's keyed so you don't put it on backwards. Now, if I look at one of my SATA power cables, it doesn't matter which one you take from the power supply, whichever one will reach, you see it's also got a little L in it. So we wanna line that L up. If this was in the computer case, I'd look to make sure I have my notch, notch the right way and plug that in. You gotta push decently hard. Now to get it out, you can kind of wiggle it side to side and I've got it out, but make sure you've got that L the right way. That plastic is really thin. If you have that cable on there backwards, you will either break the plastic of your power connector, no big deal because you probably got some others, or you're gonna cry because you just broke the connector for the power connector to your four terabyte SSD you just dropped a small fortune on and it's your fault. So once we've got the power connector hooked up, let me just plug that back in again. We want to hook up the data connection. So this is a SATA cable and you can see the connector right here. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little L shape in it so it can go in backwards. We don't want to put it in backwards. Okay, I've got it upside down right now. The retention latch, the metal retention latch is going to face up if you have the hard drive facing up. Now, if you look at this cable, one of the connectors goes 90 degrees and one of them is just straight. If they're both straight, it just doesn't matter which end goes to the motherboard and which end goes to the hard drive. If it's got this 90 degree bend, it's gonna work much better to use the 90 degree bend to the hard drive with the clip facing up and you hear it click into place. Now I've got this hooked in and the other end just simply plugs in to a SATA connector on my motherboard. Now, which one on the motherboard? Well, if you only got one hard drive, it probably don't matter. If you got more, more than one hard drive, you want your operating system hard drive to be plugged into the lowest numbered SATA connector. So if, they, if they're numbered SATA 1, SATA 2, SATA 3, plug it into SATA 1. If they start numbering it 0, plug it into SATA 0. So it doesn't matter which one this goes into. Now remember though, when you need to pull this cable out, you've got to squeeze that metal connector, otherwise you're risking breaking off that plastic connector on your solid state hard drive and then being very, very sad because it no longer works. It can't talk to it. And you're gonna to have to pay somebody a lot of money to take that circuit board out of there and jimmy on a new connector so they can copy your data off, a data recovery service. So just make sure you got your cables on there right. It's not hard. Take a second, look at the direction of the connector rather than trying to do it by braille.